So last night, I raided James Robinson's garage. It was definitely a blind test. We couldn't find a light switch. So I've got a bag of drivers and a bag of fairwoods. And we're going to be testing them in a vlog where we get James on the channel. We're going to have a text to scramble, James. We've got to meet the pro challenge. That means I can't beat you, though. Well, I'm sorry. You'll get another <laughs> chance at some point. But we're going to have a, we're going to have a text to scramble, see what we can shoot and test some of these drivers. We don't know the... Well, I don't know the prices because it literally is a blind test. I don't know what, what's under the hoods. Um, I, now, I'm glad you chose this one because this is one which a lot of people won't think to use and Nelly Corder uses this driver. Really? Show them what this one is because this is a really interesting one. It's obviously a tailor-made Stealth 2, but as soon as you showed me that this morning, the Stealth 2 HD, I think even for you because you sometimes struggle spraying it around the face a little bit. I've never seen a HD in nine. You see? That's why I've got it. Wow. Sometimes when you tick in the list of what you need, it's exactly what you need and not what you want. And I guess these are going to be coming down at some point in the near future. We you would imagine so. It's, it's that, if you can find the specs, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so some interesting ones in here. We'll be having a look through the bag, playing with them. But I'll get the price up on screen because it might be something that you guys have been shopping for and, and come across this video. Uh, but two under, James. We've got to beat two under, which is set by James Wilshire and myself. Oh, James. <laughs> he, can't, he must have had a good chipping day, James Wilshire. Aren't you, James, if you're watching this? I really like James. He's in miles, doesn't I he? I think it were his drives and my chipping. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are we going with first? Uh, let's have a look. I've never seen this one before. A Delta X. So that's a Ben Ross. And that's a really interesting one because it is a little bit... Uh, if we can get the cover uh, More budget. It's ten and a half degrees, so it's not exactly the perfect specs, but it's got a Venter shaft in it, yeah. Fujikora. When, when you said budget, do you have any idea on retail of that? Well, you will, because you're going to put it on screen now. <laughs> I think it's sub 250. Right, that's budget So if you're days. talking brand new sub 250, it's not too bad at all, is I, it? I remember budget for drivers when I were at American Golf eight years ago being like 129. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But then, back then, the really expensive drivers were 329. Exactly. Whereas now, yeah. the 529, aren't they? Interesting you go in the left side of the tee to try and draw it around that massive yeah, tree. It's a good point. It's a good point, James. Right, we need to get this moving over. What does a Ben Ross feel like? I mean, it's certainly got a good engine. Ventus, uh, Fujicora Ventus. I'll tell you what, guys, that is perfect. I'll tell you what, I weren't expecting that. I was, uh, it's in the fairway, I wasn't I, either. I just weren't expecting the feel and, you know, obviously, you, you know, for, I've, I've not heard much about Ben Ross. I don't know much about it, if I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't know if you have, if you're using it or you played it. I'm surprised by that. Am I hitting this as well? Yeah, yeah. If you, I mean, you can I, see it was a little bit toey and you've actually got it? the perfect ball fly that you wanted. We've done a video today, guys. That's probably the best driver of it all day. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Right. So you're down there, aren't you? I can just really try and... I mean, yeah. what I will say is it's not the best looker on top. If Gaz puts that on screen now for you, it's got a big kind of cavity out the top of it, hasn't it? Is that yeah. for aerodynamics or is it just for design? Oh. That's Tiger Line. I think it's got through, you know. Yeah. It might look a bit left on camera, guys, but honestly, if you're going to go for green, that is line with the green, isn't As long it? as you don't hear timber after that, you're generally yeah. okay, but um, CT face design. Let's just have a look at that crown, what you mentioned. Because I didn't pick up on that too much, but yeah, I see what you mean. I think it's an acquired taste, isn't it? What yeah. do you use that, guys? Is that something that you would put you off? I think you soon get used to it, especially if it is kind of price driven. I love the shape of it. It's 460cc as it says here. And there's not really a lot more technology to talk about, is there realistically? Just a nice colourful design. That crown actually reminds me of the old fashioned tailor made 300 series. Yeah, yeah. You might have used one of them if you played golf a while. Right, I want to see where they are. I'm very, I'm riveted. So this series is to help you get to meet a few other golf content creators. Now I'm sure you already know James, but we've got some good questions for him coming up. But first of all, Look at that. We're on the green. Take it, you don't want to put. take my mine in the bunker then? No, we'll, we'll pick that one up. Right. A good drive. And I'll tell you what, we were saying off camera about that drive, weren't we, James? We've just checked it. 179. 179. Yeah. I think, it might, I think it might have been like a bit more when it first came out, but American Golf is where you get them, Ben Ross. Well, I was just saying that. Like, I'd be a bit worried that people might not look to spend 179 on a brand new driver. They'd go to the second hand market if they'd not tried it. I think a lot of brands like that potentially do struggle. Like a lot of the uh, direct consumer brands as well. You think of 
turns to Tacoma with the drives and the fairways, and you think of Cayley or yeah. Cali with the drives and stuff. I think irons is easier because to make a good forged iron, anyone can pretty much do it, can't they, if they have yeah. the right access to the right factory. But getting a driver that works for you, I think it's very, very difficult. Unless you're spending millions on R&D like some of these big brands are, difficult to kind of keep up. And I think even if you do go and buy a tailor-made M2, an old Titleist 915 or something like that, you're going to get a pretty good driver for around £100, aren't you? So. Well, I mean, I've never hit this green before, ever <laughs> in my life. No, no, so. this is an eagle putt. This is to tie Wilshire already, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll get mine out of the bunker. I think it's safe to say, if you're on a budget for a driver, guys, don't overlook the brands you possibly not heard of without actually trying them, because I think I would have been guilty of that. James. Do what Gaz does, hit one shot to a green, and then go, you know what, guys, this is going straight in the bag, no questions asked. You can tell a lot, though, by it in just a, you know, one or two shots. You know how it feels? Do you, here's one, then. Off the next tee, would you rather hit that Ben Ross driver again or something else in the bag? Well, I would rather hit it again, but for the video, obviously, I'm going to hit something else. All right, well, I might do a video with you on my channel with the Ben Ross driver, then, and see yeah, how we do. Seriously? Yeah! Well, we could do and see see after a full vlog if I still would Come on, then. potentially buy it. <laughs> cool, we've got to knock this putt in. Come on. We've got to knock We're not having Will, Will should be. Will should beat me here by himself. We can't have a southerner at top at perch. Gina <laughs> <laughs> Shiver's shivers thinking about it. Where have you got it? Just slightly right. I'm going to try and get weight. Whacked a bit of weight in here. Roll out. Oh, I can't get there. I think that's birdie, Gary. Take the flag out for us, Gaz. We're not going to mark it, are we? We'll put birdie in. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> it were a gimme. James will get this anyway. Go on, then. Just it's like uphill at the end, isn't Just it? tap it in so there's no question. I'll tap asked. it in, Gaz. Don't you worry about that, son. That's one. Birdie. So I don't know why, but I cannot overlook this driver. It's shouting out to me. I've never tried a Vega driver. You've always been a bit flashy, haven't you? <laughs> well, at 599, it comes in at the very, very top end of driver price points. What What's good about it? I mean, it's a, the, the name is something you've probably all heard of as being a very expensive iron brand. Premium brand, isn't it, I think you'll say. But like, I, I think it looks wise, it does look really, really nice from this angle. It's a very interesting shelf appeal look with all the aerodynamics there. Imagine that has to be something to do with, obviously, technology and I aerodynamics. Mean, I'd think about spending sort of £500 on a tailor-made, you know, ping, but, yeah. I, never, I wouldn't ever think about spending that on a Vega drive, but I've never... never I suppose if you went one. and got fitted, because the yeah. key here with a lot of these brands is fitting, isn't it? And if if the right fitter fits you into the right driver for the right price, and you are a big Vega fan, you love the irons, maybe you love everything else about the brand. I mean, the shaft looks cool as well, doesn't Flash it? That, yeah. If you do want to be a bit flashy, it probably is a great brand or a great driver for you to have. If you're not bothered, people will be screaming in the comments going, why would I want to be flashy? I don't think there'll be many people that'll give us any credit no, for yeah, the I think price. That, I think that's fair. Also, what I do is I respect everyone's opinions and everyone's requests on what they want. So I think there will be someone out there who will have it just because it's a Vega. Yeah. Just like there will be someone there who would not ever spend that amount of money on a golf club. And both of you are right, there's no wrong. Now, what is this going to feel like compared to Ben Ross? Because I was blown away by that one. You might be interested. I'm not going to ruin it for you because I want to know what you feel like. Long par for this. Ooh, I mean, he's absolutely I rocketed that. I tell you what, I didn't think it was going to be as good as that. That's why I didn't tell him. He, he... That actually felt really solid. Have you done a full vlog on this? Yeah. I'd love to watch that and actually check it out. I mean, that's the thing, for that price, did. it's not going to sound rubbish is it I generally don't know why i just expected it not being as good as i as you that. nearly found the center there as well we're edging closer to the middle <laughs> that was on the, the right hand portion of the v we in shall terms say of like sound and feedback when you hit that that's probably one of the best solid sounding drivers i've hit and it goes to show because you wouldn't really you probably wouldn't even think about trying it no i wouldn't have it's in play as well which for you is mental isn't it <laughs> you're not joking Solid. 
See, that's more my shot, that little low fade, whereas I think for you, that turning over one is the one that you scream out for, isn't when, it? When you did a vlog on it, did you compare it against anything else or just checked it out numbers-wise? I honestly can't remember. I feel like I will have tested it against probably a paradigm. I'll stick a link Generally, what to I've that been video because I'm definitely going to watch that. I might do another video. You know what? I've quite enjoyed that as well. Lovely. Nice head cover as well. I know it's not a fan of the one, though. A driver's never been a one wood, has it? No. I still can't say whether I'd spend 599 on a Vega driver yet. You probably would. Oh, I don't. I mean, to be fair, actually, I'd be open to Have you seen the irons? Idea. Have you seen the irons? No. The irons are stunning. Are they? And then if you have the irons in the bag, you have to have the bag, don't you? What are they stunning? Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> if you have the bag, you have to have the umbrella. If you have the umbrella, you have to have the yeah. towel. If you have the towel, you have to have the driver. Once you've got the Vega, you've got the Vega effect, haven't you? Yes, mate. Yep. I've just spied something in James's bag, and this is one of one. There's only one set in the world, and James is using them at the minute. Come on, these are so. So, sick. I mean, my comment section is popping off at the minute, um, and they are obviously Tacoma 301 CB and MB. I can't really talk much about it because it's top secret, and I don't want to ruin it for the guys at Tacoma. Are they but copper? yeah, copper plated, yeah. Wow. And I'm really impressed with how, because I mean, I play quite a few rounds with these. Play some good golf with them as well, but really impressed with how the copper's not worn off or anything. Yeah. I don't think these are the finished article. These are a prototype. The guy's going to tweak them a little bit more for next year. They're going to be a limited run, but I can't say any more. I literally can't or I'll be in trouble. So. Wow, they are sexy. If you like a sexy looking iron, they are the ones. I'd say they put you to the sword on my channel early, but I mean, most irons do, don't they? So. <laughs> Let's uh, we'll cut it there. <laughs> I've got to try one of these irons hitting up here. Try one, mate, if you I've want. Are you going to try the wedge or the nine? Uh, what distance do we have, roughly? Probably 130. Yeah, 130. I'm going to go nine, then. Yeah. A little easy nine. So wedge nine, eight are in the blade, and then the other ones are in the CB, which I quite like. To me, that's like the perfect combo yeah. combo set, really. I've never, ever actually tried a... It's Tukumoko, is it? Tukumoko. <laughs> Do some research, guys. Tacomo. Tacomo. I've never tried a Tacomo iron. But right. they're exploding at minute, aren't they? Are we going to make birdie here, more importantly? Because we've got a par five coming up. I hate One. to say, we've had two, three tough holes on this uh, vlog today. This is the hardest the hole on the golf course. I mean, you boom that out there. Mine was 10 yards further back. I'll not take any anything for that. But this is an awful flag position right at the front as well. Let's draw a little nine in. Like that. Oh, that gives us a putt. That's a chance, isn't it? And that's what I like about these. Obviously, you do get the workability in the blades, but they don't look like mega, mega upsetting. Yeah. Look nice, don't they? That is a sexy looking club, yeah. Take that as well. I mean, that colour, you don't get any better than that. No, very similar to the kind of Ricky Fowler Cobrines, but not as scary. Yeah. Ex yeah, exactly. With the CBs in the longer irons, you could yeah. actually game them, couldn't you? I'm surprised how well that looks. You know, when you've not heard of something before and then you see a club that just looks great. Yeah. Nice. It felt solid. Bit of wind up there, moving it like mine did, but yeah, that's two shots on the green. Honestly, we'll take that. I'm really impressed with that. Seriously, like I really am. I were expecting him just to be kind of like average, but nice. Everything surprised you so far in this video. I feel like I surprise you on a daily basis. I don't know. Just two stunning shots, James. Yeah, good flag high to say we kind of guessed the yardage a little bit, but... Probably the lower one, possibly. Well, good, guys, we'll take yours if you want to take yours, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't even know which one we which. Mine's got a big green stripe on it. Uh, this is to go two. With I a think... par five coming up. Yeah. If there's one thing I'm going to take away from today, it's, it's looking a bit further afield than the big brands. Yeah, I mean, personally, I, I really enjoy finding... New brands, Tacoma, Kaylee. Uh, there's a brand that Chris has just reviewed, which I'm looking forward to trying as well, Tor. Tor something, I can't remember the name of it, but look fantastic as well. I'm definitely going to start to contact a few of these. Uh, I did a brand called Robin Golf, which was great. Full set, package set with a bag. Brands I've not heard of. Yeah. 
yeah. here at the right pace. Quite a big swing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys like at home? I mean, are you a bit guilty like me, of just sticking to brands, big brands you've heard of, even if it means second-hand market, or are you, would you buy a new product from a, maybe a brand that's not in pro shops? Would you call them a direct consumer brand, maybe? Yeah. Hit it. Oh, at least I got it up that time. Yeah, it's a good, uh, it's a good par, really. I'll have a go at this now. It's one of them to haul it. You've got to be scared of not missing it, haven't you? Well, this doesn't matter now, does it? Because you've got the four. Yeah. Drop. Drop. Oh. Good read. Positive. Probably firm if anything, but we need to eagle the next. Well, it's a par five. We've got a chance. Just about. So we've got a few possible drivers to finish. I would have liked to have got that one in. We might have to do that on a different day, the Strixon ZX, but we're going to go for the Stealth. So I think this is a driver that everybody's heard of, the Stealth 2. In an interesting spec, I've never seen a HD in a nine degree. Um, and I think for any of these people that do like to stick to a well-known brand, these might start to drop in price in not too near future. Yeah, I find it amazing because a lot of people, when they go for a tailor-made, tailor-made Stealth, Stealth 2, they'll go for the Plus because they want the adjustment, they want the all singing, all dancing one, and they want the one that Rory uses. Whereas realistically, 99% of golfers are probably better off with the one that Nelly uses. And I think 99% of golfers have all that weight and adjustability and don't use it. Yeah, I mean, you look here, there's a 30 gram weight in the back of this club, which obviously that shifts CG so far back and increases MOI a bit. You've still got the speed pocket, you've still got the carbon face, you've got pretty much everything apart from movable weight. And how much does that really help you? I mean, you'll know, guys, I've been using a Stealth 2 myself, the standard one, and I have fell in love with the look of TaylorMade drivers. Mm -hmm. And there were once a time where I said I'd never use a TaylorMade. Oof. Exactly. Bold call. A bold call, but let's see what this flies like. Because, I mean, I've got the standard version. So just the max head, but this is the HD, which I can't say, to be honest, James, looks a great deal different of it, Ball. No, you can see the the red ring at the back a little bit more. Yeah. But apart from that, That's the stability point, ring. Actually. I mean, maybe it sits a tad close if I were being... See, I hover it anyway, so it makes no difference to me. Yeah. What, you mean you don't let it sit and then go? No, I just, yeah, I just hover it. it. Yeah, good point. That's one way of getting around it. I mean, I that's just ball. flying forever, isn't it? So well in this vlog. We should have done that on your channel. <laughs> I'm glad you waited. <laughs> That's lovely. But, but that's I, launched so high for a 9 degree. I was just about to say that, yeah. Is that's probably because of this weight in the back, isn't it? Yeah. And making it easier to launch. Well, that's interesting, that. Could that potentially make you change... I mean, obviously, you're not going to do it on one shot, but yeah. you know, all the drivers we've tested today have been fairly forgiving. Yeah. Even the, uh, the Vega, to some extent, quite a big head, quite a bit of weight back, fairly forgiving. <clears throat> right. This is just going past you, guys. Ah, not the best. You know, and your partner's in play in a scramble, and you just think, oh, I'm gonna... it. yeah. Still in play, mate. I mean, you know, it's not a card wrecker. Wasn't my best. We're a long way out, guys, but it's going to give us a chance to test the Cobra Rad Speed Fairway, which is not this season's model. No, it's actually a couple of years old, but I feel like Cobra struggled with the Aerojet a little bit. I feel like this was a really good one. I don't think Cobra have nailed it since the F9. The F9 was the range that really, really blew it apart. Then we had the Speed... A lot of kind of speed un zone, it? speed zone, yeah, like SZ it was called, wasn't it? And yeah. like not really rem rememberable rangers whereas i think um, obviously we've seen potential what might be coming next year is that going to be another one of these is it going to be a smash hit like the f9 was 
Who knows? I know I've seen some of the clubs where they've had yellow, and it's like, wow, I like the look. Yeah, of that. I think that, yeah, that is them though, isn't it? But That's this definitely one them. Sort of scream out to me as like one I want to rush and go and buy. But let's see how it it plays. I mean, Great strike. It's good. It's a solid club. Left side of the green on the par five. Really solid and nice. Sometimes, do you feel like when you're testing clubs, it's just, oh, I'm swinging well today? Could be. And then you kind of think more about that than the actual clubs. Although you can get, I mean, I like, I take a lot away from feel me when you strike something. If it feels nice, and, I, you know, you guys will know if you watch the channel, I'm quite critical when things aren't good. Um, but that actually felt solid, that. I mean, you could, I don't know if you could pick them acoustics up, but... The sound of that is really nice. Yeah, that was telling and it still felt okay. I feel like I've cut that round the corner like I wanted to. It's just a nice three wood, isn't it? I don't think it's anything yeah. special. I like the rails on the bottom because that does get you a little bit better turf interaction. But If anyone's got one of them, them in the bag, guys, just get in the comments and let people I know. I bet not that... many people have. Do you not think? I don't, yeah, I, I can't see many people that would do because, I, I mean, it's just not a rememberable one for me. But I hope someone's hit one outside and can just resonate with what we're saying about the sound and feel of that because it felt lovely. Probably a good one on the second-hand market because there'll be quite a lot of them. Good point. Well, we're one shot away from getting to the top of the leaderboard. This is in, mate. 56 <laughs> degree, near that leaf, bit of spin, and in. And I'm thinking of a saucy question for you. Still? For the end of this video. You know this ball isn't even round, don't you? It is. That's not round. Is it not? Wait, that's not round, that's though. That's why I'm hitting it straight. <laughs> that is unreal. How that's... have you hit those drives with this? Is it really not round? Honestly. That, I mean, you can see why it's not round. There's that big mark on it, and then look at that. It's best I've played in weeks. That's honestly, I'm going to have to, be, before we chip and lose that I'm gonna to have to so Gaz is playing some of the best golf of his life today and this ball isn't even round <laughs> look at that I mean you can see why it's not because it's had it's had a collision with something <laughs> honestly mate that is not that's not a sphere <laughs> look at that oh my look at that angle <laughs> oh wow yeah you can see that <laughs> I'm gutted now, because I thought I'd be playing well. I wonder if that's been why. <laughs> <laughs> Is it illegal? Uh, yeah, I suppose it would be. Maybe manufacturers are missing a trick here. It can't be a real one. It must be a snide. Well, I don't know. It's got a big mark of it. It must have hit a tree at some point with it. Strike. Go on. Roll out then. Go! <sighs> So close to being everything I wanted. If my ball wasn't round, it might have released a little bit of that. <laughs> I'll keep it online. I've been lining it up with off <laughs> Oh, it was chunky. It's done all right for you. Right, James's ball, he's got to go for it. To to I don't feel like I've done much for you in this video, to be fair. But well, you've had we've had the toughest three holes, I would say, in this series. So it's a strong two under. Straight centre cup. I knew I wouldn't even put up for that one. Right, I've got a question for you. Go on. If there was one thing you never had to do ever again in this world, what would it be? Hmm. Play golf with you. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky son. <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed having James on the channel. Go and check his drive, this Vega driver. I'm going to be checking that one out. What else have you got coming up for us? Uh, loads, to be fair. Obviously, the new it's silly season soon, isn't it? So, yeah. big busy season for me, testing it all and showing people that it probably performs very similar to last year's, but if you want it, you can it's okay to go and buy it if you don't. You've been here and done it all before, right? Yeah. I have, and like, there, there will be marginal gains on some. Like last year with the Paradigm, we all saw ball speed rises and stuff, so I'd be interested to see where Callaway go with that. 
I think TaylorMade have got a big year. I think it was a little bit of a, a buffer year last year for them with Stealth 2 yeah. on top of Stealth. I always think when it's something 2, it's a bit of a kind of a, a boring year for you. But yeah. next year, we've all seen Rory using what he's using, so that could be interesting. Ping, keeping with going what they're going, and then an additional driver to that. I think it's going to be really, really interesting. We'll always find something for you, won't we? And Titleist have got these new round balls as well, which are going to be <laughs> phenomenal. Guys, make sure you subscribed and make sure you tune in in two days' time. Bye.